Hola! It is I, Chibi Moo. At this point, we've been playing this game for almost like five months now, so I kind of want to like. <laughs> I kind of want to get to it so we can like move on to something else. So, I'll do my. I'll do my usual thing of dear content creators. As you discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning for sharing content from beyond the white hallway so, so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to sincerely the modern storyteller team. You've been warned. So, yeah, last episode was like a major like plot reveal. It turns out we have a... Uh, we are in the afterlife. Oh. We have. We passed on basically. And everyone else is here. Has passed on. And this place is currently under control of the god of the underworld. Pluto I believe his name was. So that was pretty big. Yeah, it is. But that, that leaves me with many questions, though, because there's a guy when you head up to the top tower there that if you, um, if you talk to him, well, you don't really get to talk to him. He, he, he basically, he, he offers himself, right? So, how, 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 where does he go after that? Because if we're, if we're already... If we're already gone, then how, how, how was he basically? Is he is he re dying again? Is he is he immediately reincarnated? Don't make no sense. I know why she's insane? We can um, we can have a little heart to heart with her, can't we? Hi. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Say it. Speak its name. Then it is true. I was right. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites. And the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace. Nor notices the crowd. Why is there only 20 of us here though? There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. And still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice. And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Yeah. 
all right. <laughs> so I've been playing a different game, so. Right, you. You're horrible to me and I don't like you, but what's wrong? Oh, you're, and uh, I hope I'm not being too cool. There's a light in... What was that? Some... I take back. Let's just forget that ever happened. Not for a few weeks now. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I was bothered. <laughs> Yeah. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing, and then the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. Coincidence? I think not. All right. See ya. You're horrible. I'm not like you. Why is she actually do the meme from um, Incredibles? Nice house. Happens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. <laughs> but yes, very well. Yeah, I'm a bit of a rush, my dude. Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us live the life called safely beneath the earth. Very well, but the magistrate would not look kindly upon this, so please keep it to yourself. I'm listening. For several months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day, when I return, the food is missing. So I ask, who or what? Is devouring the food in this temple. Stranger thing. Once I sat in front of my shop like the candle died Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in, but do you know what I saw? Nothing. Nobody entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. So bizarre, is it not? Then I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern. He offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay, he was never seen again. It is the only Greek temple in the city. Head towards the baths, and it is the last building on your right. I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. But you do not strike me as a kind of person to be deterred by such warnings, so just be... Oh, okay. Oh. So that someone's been through here recently. Uh, okay, lots of vases. Oh, okay, cool. Some pixel drops. Who are you? Ah, a visitor. Who are you? Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? Then perhaps the fates brought you here to learn the secrets of this place. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good to 
philosophical argument with somebody of steel. <laughs> I'm hoping you have some sense of humor. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. <laughs> Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Oh. Do you say you know the difference between right and wrong? You are an overthinker too. We are the same then. That's probably why I became so interested. Are you Al? <laughs> the guy who, who we saw at the very beginning of the game. Surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable. Because our mistakes rarely have consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize, and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. So let me ask you. System of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing. No. Are you sure, or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? After hundreds of years, and as many great thinkers dedicating their lives to these questions. What hope do we have if our best and brightest haven't been able to answer them? My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. If there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them. Yeah. Evil people will always find a way around them. Yeah. And so we must accept our limitations and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. But In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached at will. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no but uh, it puts fear. Under tyranny is no utopia at all. Exactly. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I would be happy to answer your questions. You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. I'm listening. Come on. I left Korea for a while to study at one of the uh, finest so I could argue more forcefully. Back then I used to enjoy I'm going to start escaping a little bit. Everyone I could, and I was good. One night I found myself in a tavern in an argument with a drunken merchant. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. Can you tell me your name? I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Cal course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the golden rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. Yeah. You see, I was not the first to take refuge. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and 
Twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades too. Yeah. I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. <sighs> Where was everyone else? I am the only one left. There were twelve of us in Virginia. So are you part of the previous batch of people who were here? Some for malnutrition, others for mad Because that that was one of the things, wasn't it? That like Oh yes, Kabash. I've not seen another person in many, many months. They are one and the same. The Romans call him Crete. But long before that, my people called him Hades. As you wish. Where can I find him? I will tell you if you may find him close by. To prepare for your encounter. There are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in a typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Persephone. And when they found an obelisk, bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. Yeah. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it was the very thing you see. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. What's that? I had no idea until years later. When the first of so Egyptians came first, then Romans, then... No, no. First it was Roman. <laughs> first it was Egyptians, then it was Greeks, then it was Romans. So where does the fourth one fit in? Is it before, in the middle, or is it the last one? Somebody has gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out of place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks have thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key and use it to open the door. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. How had you how'd you die of old age if you're already dead? This is some real like dying upon dying stuff. Do you not get salvation when you head here? <laughs> well, I know you don't get salvation because you've got to live by this very strict. If you do anything wrong, you will punish everyone else. So if you turn into golden, do you not ascend to the afterlife? You probably don't, do you? Oh God. My heart is pounding. I do not like this. <laughs> Of course we go up to the thing that's making the noise. So, every time a, a, a thing dies, right? I'm guessing they just rebuild the city on top of it. Anubis. So, this, this god just keeps changing identities as time keeps going on. Oh, okay. Who are you? I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. 
Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors, hmm? Hmm, to what end? Hmm, that is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I don't know what time period I died. to return it myself, mm -hmm. but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. I play bearing the hieroglyphic inscription Ursula. Thank you. Now, as for the other flap. Indeed, I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. You may not, in fact, I am about to destroy it. Why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? Indeed. And I see you know our history. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks. Yeah, you got by now. Together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kert, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto. And this cycle began anew. Yeah. So what's the pop? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too copied and corrupted from an ancient people but you gotta live with that you can't just try and hide that and that my people did to them what the greeks and romans did to us what are we expecting egyptians to i don't know what the last one would be i sense a deception perhaps it is the work of seth the usurper seeking to undermine osiris once more what does it say this work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris's name. You are too late. It is done. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. If it will help you to see reason, then pass. I do not know. What could possibly lie beneath the underworld? Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Oh, you're such an idiot. Why did you do that? The devouring <laughs> of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to... So you hate Romans and... So contrary where you are from. So you hate Romans and Greeks for copying you, but the moment you found out that your people were copying someone else, you were like, no, 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 we wouldn't do that. You are planning to go down there. I see it in your eyes. You would plunge into the depths of the... Yes. Hmm, we shall see.
Nago. Make kabash. Why did you do this to me? So it's just like a never ending cycle of like city being a built on top of the city. It's bad. Uh, well, this uh, bad case look like these Sumerians were trying to defend themselves from something. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like there's nothing you can do about it. If it, if it, I feel like there was no way I could have spoke talk, spoke him out of doing that. Like he he it was because now I have to discover what happened here. Uh, stranger, heed the final words of N Nem Kuzu. Bear witness to our ma bear witness to our aftermath and lament us. We did our best to live as the gods commanded. We planted and harvested together. We shared bread and beer. We accepted newcomers with open arms as their family. With each newcomer, the bond of our family strained, and soon we were. We were as strangers to each other, and then those bonds were finally broken. My brothers and sisters planted only for themselves and ate and drank alike, and it was there, in the empty, in the in the empty space between us, that sin took root. Nar Nargle's sentinels have awoken, and claim and claim claim more at, at our barricades. Learn from our mistakes. Oh! A corroded bars plate with Sumerian markings on it. It appears as a pressure plate for some kind of trap. My man Kabas must be going, what is she doing down there? Oh. Hello? Game? Game? Um... I'm stuck? Right, let's try not to get stuck this time. Just want to make sure there's no, um... Uh... Oh, God. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Very well, I will listen, but I sense this. You're gonna break the golden wall! I am 
am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Hmm. Perhaps there is some truth in that. What is your point? Hmm. You are persuasive. I'm just that good. Very well. I will let you live, and you may do what you will with that plan. I will remain here for a while and attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Go. Damn, he was all the way up there. I was like shouting at him. Like, mm. I've got to go around it. So like, is that is that how I sh if that is that how I would have killed him if I did start a fight with him? I pressed the trap and he died. Thank you, brother. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So we've got two, we got three of the plug plate plate. They're not called plagues; they're called like plugs or plugs. Anyway, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good progress on that. Anyway, I'm going to try and do as much as I can. Upload this op op option now to get this game done as soon as possible. But until then, bye.